wageni walioko hapa partners wetu introduce a partner called Tawaza because what has happened did to launch this report before i come there your excellency my office like keep account the agenda your excellency and why i'm taking this uh, official of introducing to us to us from conference and we we, we we happen to support what we that was in your knowledge and we able to be happy for what and i think we able to lobby and we able thank you for welcoming them when we are hosting partners to support the development agenda to convince to us east africa and it is represented by the country lead uh, mr james here and from that day because and maybe it's going to kind of uh, scale down to like here and make some recommendations when you join this government they have made several calls they have even met a number of people to, at national level it is going to inform on how partners are going to engage or we need to give them a hearty clap as they come thank you james Harrison. uh bona governor uh cs water environment our uh, area mca kwa makaribisho ambayo mweza kutupatia hapa uh, Laikipia Vacations And presenting the findings here makes a lot of sense Kuteza wakati, allow me to get into the findings At least to introduce World Water Day So we are to aweza uh, during the month of February 600 respondents across the country And mostly we had a boost uh, some government Or how citizens perceive uh, water services uh, no. We have five insights. The first insight, ni watu wangapi I'll be able to give uh, statistics za like Libya and then compare with them at the national level. The proportion ambao wanapata maji kwa njia nyingine ambayo ni safi. Maybe they have access to borehole and that stands at 23%. So when we combine the two as in clean sources of water, we found that like Libya has around 70 uh, around 78 percent of the household ambazo zinapata maji mazuri ambao ni masafi ya wezi kuweza kuinwa compared to the national statistics that stands at 69 percent tuliweza kufanya hivi because we normally compare our findings with other findings we went back to the dhs report i believe all of us understand what dhs report is at the national level it's at 69 percent and during that year when the dhs uh, report uh, data was co uh, collected i think it was in 2021 like here was at around 70 percent but from the findings that we have it's already in a span of two years things seems to have changed positively to 78 percent an eight percent increase uh, since uh, 2021 ikiwa kuna kitu tutaseme sana na sisi tutaita viongozi wote ni kwa sababu tutaita watu wa warma eh, au water resource authority tutaita watu wa central rift valley na washikadao wengine kwa sababu ile mpa, mfa, em, em, mchezo wa paka na panya tunilazima tumalize katika raikipi na tunamaliza na jua gani na hapa watu wa water resource authority na watu wa lua ni lazima nyinyi mtusaidie ni lazima tusaidiane kwa ukweli kwa sababu kuna wakati ile maji ni yetu sisi zote na jambo la kwanza na inaandikwa kwa katiba na imeandikwa na jia mzuri sana it is the first priority ni maji ya kunywa hii gine yote inakuwa ga secondary maji ya kunywa kwanza alafu hii gine tunalima tunafanya mabome gine hata mambo ya viwanda tunafanya kwa hivyo ule mchezo tuko nao na hatu wetu wale wa, wa hapa Mount Kenya pale pade ya Meru mambo ya kwamba sisi maji inafugua kule inalima kwanza inafaa kujulikana ya kwanza the first priority even in the water act 2016 it is water for drinking kwa hiyo maji ya shiriwe kwanza watu wapata maji ya ngombe na maji ya kunywa 
kabla tufikirie mambo ya kurima. Kwa hiyo that is a management that we must make sure that tumeogea na tumekubaliana on how the water will be first be given to our people ya kukunywa na kuhifadhi e, wanyama wetu na tena masigira kabla kufanya mambo mengine yote na this is a virus zile tufanya tuadikanie katika watu wetu wale wanaishi kule juu in particular the upstream people ni lazima tuweze kuwa na mkataba so that during the dry season let our people let there be flow of water or the streams zikuwe na manji wakati wa kiagazi some water that you use in Lake Ipia comes from Meru that's another county and it's very difficult maybe for counties to compromise sometimes so the national government comes in and does those county cross county projects because it's a national resource and the national government can study in if there is any conflict adoption of user friendly and effective policy guidelines on the development of mechanism to ensure equitable distribution and sharing of water resources through effective regulation is equally critical in the resources management as an agency we are also undertaking conservation and catchment protection activities such as tree planting to help restore reliable and sustainable water resources in water bodies and catchment areas to avoid siltation in the dams as well as pollution from agricultural activities.